Hi everyone, Amanda Saladin here, and today we're going to be crocheting the silt stitch. It gives a nice texture. It's just a row of double crochet, followed by a row with a single and two double crochet in the same space. And you skip, single, two double crochet, and the next row will be double crochet. So it gives a nice, interesting texture to it. I really like it, and I worked it up pretty quickly in this beautiful yarn. Okay, today for this tutorial we're going to be using this amazing Cumulus Dappled yarn from Juniper Moon Farm. I am honestly in love with this yarn. I picked it up at the Smoky Mountain Spinnery in Gatlinburg, Tennessee on a vacation, a couple different colors, and it's a cotton yarn and amazingly I'm soft and can't wait to work with this and also I'm going to be using a size I hook so I've got a worsted weight and a size I. Okay let's get started. Okay I've got my slip knot here and you can chain any multiple of three so I'm going to chain 21 for my starting chain. And we're going to double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. I like to work into the back of my chain. It doesn't really matter. So here you have one, two, three, four. So if you've never made a double crochet before, you'll yarn over, insert your hook into the chain or the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. We've got three loops here. Yarn over and draw through two yarn over and draw through the last two. And that is a double crochet. And now we're just going to double crochet in each chain all the way across. Show you one more and then so you'll just repeat this all the way to the end of your chain. Okay, so here are my double crochets. And now we'll turn and we're going to work our next row, which will give it the texture. So chain one and work two double crochet right here in this first stitch. So again, if you're new, yarn over and crochet, you want to go underneath both of these loops right here, which make kind of a V shape. So you'll just put your hook in here and work a double crochet the same way you did before. So we're, and then we're going to repeat in the same spot. Okay, now we're going to skip the next two stitches. So skip here and here. And for the rest of them, we're going to single crochet and then work two double crochet in the same stitch. Okay, skip two. Single. And two double. And continue this down until you get to the last three stitches. And here I am down to the last two stitches and my turning chain. And so you're just going to single crochet in your turning chain. I usually have a tendency to do mine tight, so I have to use my fingernail sometimes to help it out. 
and that is okay. Okay, this gives you this nice texture and this different look here with this row. And now turn, chain three. You're not going to work in this first, the single crochet we did from the last row because this chain three is going to count as the stitch. Instead, you're gonna go ahead and double crochet in each stitch across. So you'll double crochet in both the double crochets and the single crochets of your row before. Just like that, because that was a double, double, single. Here's a double, double, single. You just see the stitches there and you'll double crochet all the way across. And then at the end, you put a double crochet in your little one turning chain as well. Okay, now I finished my row here of double crochet. And then I'll turn and I'm just gonna repeat row two. So that's all you're gonna do is these two rows. Row two was a single, I mean a chain, and which counts as a single crochet, and then two doubles in the same space. Skip two chains, single, and two double. Repeat to the end. Remember when you get to the end here, you'll have two stitches and you wanna work into just a single crochet right here and then you'll turn, chain three, double, and just repeat. So repeat your single and two, double crochet, next row, double crochet only. And that's it. Nice easy stitch pattern, gives you a definitely a different look than just a row, you know, row to row of just double crochet but not too difficult to just change it up a bit. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Find more than 100 free patterns at lovelifeyarn.com. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.